Good afternoon, how are we all doing? I don't expect too many people to get onto this live feed at uh, 12.30 today. I suppose most people will be on their lunch breaks uh, and things like that. But um, look, there, you know, for those of you that have never seen uh, my videos before, my name's Cameron Stewart. Um, I'm a, a property investor and developer and also heavily involved in the direct sales and network marketing industry as well. Um, I started doing this video journey um, oh, quite a few number of months ago. I think I've done around 160 videos uh, online. And, and the reason for uh, the videos, for me doing the videos, was not to sell a product or uh, push a business or anything like that. It was more to um, benefit and help other people um, or educate people in some way or form um, you know, from the things I've learned over the last few years. Um, you know, you'll see in the title of this video. Um, G'day, Maddie. How are you, brother? Um, I'm just out here in my shed today, so uh, hopefully the uh, the reception um, stays stays good because uh, it can be a little bit hit and miss out here. So let me know if you can't hear me. But <clears throat> as I said in my title of this video, what what I've been seeing a lot lately, and I know over the years I've, I've seen a lot of people I know um, get themselves into a world of strife. Um, as far as bad debt or good de uh, bad debt like buying cars and and TVs and all this sort of rubbish that that, that we do today, um, the reason for the and the purpose of this message today is just to really um, get people to understand. That, look, I'm not an accountant, but I know enough um, from what I've done over the last few years to realise what's good and what's not what what's bad. You know, at the end of the day, so. You know, first and foremost, um, it comes down to, you know, the old way that we used to do things. Uh, we used to be able to get away with murder. You know, we used to, be able to get away and um, we'd be able to, you know, get a good job and, and get a well-paid job and and uh, make our way through life. You know, we might tick up the odd car here and there and all the rest of it. But what I'm seeing today is everyone is just so um, tapped out from a cash flow point of view. Um, they're tapped out not only for money, but they're also very much um, tapped out for time. Um, and, you know, I think for most people, I think the biggest commodity that we all have on this earth is time. Um, and in today's world, it seems to be becoming a bit of a, a, a we don't seem to, seem to be having a lot of time and things are changing. You know, everyone's so busy, myself included. I um, fit myself into that, into that arena at times too. I'm always working, doing this, doing that. And I lose, tri you know, days go by, weeks go by, months go by, and I'm not gaining, you know, obviously I'm gaining traction with what I'm doing, but most people are working really, really hard in a job type situation, and they're not getting any further ahead. What happens is when we leave school, we get taught the old saying, oh, and I'll draw it up on the board here, and I do this in a lot of presentations, I do, but we get, get taught this, go to school, get a good education, go and get a job here, work for 45 years to retire at 65. Now that's the traditional plan, isn't it? So that's the traditional plan that most people work in. That 45 year plan, that being the essence, 45 years, 45 years, and you probably see it backwards on there too, so probably not great um, from a video perspective, but what I'm getting at is here, People, what I'm seeing is a lot of millennials, especially the young ones that are coming through, they're coming out of school and there's, they're getting guidance on their grades or whatever the case may be in school to go and study this at university or go and do this or go and do that. And what's happening is, and I'm seeing it all the time, people are coming out of uni, they're doing these degrees, they're coming out with thirty to $60,000 worth of debt and a lot of these people aren't being, aren't being able to use um, their degree to go and get a job and that half of them are working in retail or hospitality or whatever the case may be. Now there's something not quite right. Now I know that's what the system teaches but if you want to be part of the masses that you're just going to get what the masses get and that's the result will be bu bugger all. There's no other way of putting it. Most people are living from week to week, year to year, you know, month to month and they're on a treadmill and they're going on a treadmill, on a treadmill, on a treadmill, and they're not gaining any traction. And I ask you this question, whoever's watching this video, I don't, depending on your age, but I ask you this question, over the last 10 years, how much has your financial position actually changed? Because what happens is, 
we come out we come out of um, uni or whatever it is that I never went down that path so I don't understand it so I'm a wee bit opinionated but we come out of uh, school we go and get a job we go to uni whatever we come out we get out in the workforce we're out in the workforce we're out in the workforce you know we're, we're, we do a bit of travel we go overseas we do this we have a nice car whatever whatever the case may be we do that we hook up we get in, we get married we get a partner whatever we buy a house and all of a sudden we just hit this massive plateau. We just hit this massive plateau in life. So we get to this point, we're like, yeah, everything's going really, really good, everything's going good, good, good. All of a sudden, um, kids come along, people go from two incomes down to one, they've got a mortgage, they've got all the finance, car, the TVs, the couches, all that crap. And what happens is people plateau in life and they don't actually progress. So we get to a certain stage, typically it's around the early 30s to mid 30s, maybe 40s for the late bloomers. But what happens is with most people, they go through life, we're going really well and we get to that point and we plateau. So when we're really young, what do we think about? We've got all these aspirations, we've got all these things that we want to achieve. We, you know, we want to go and solve the world's problems, we want to go and do this, we want to go and do that. You know, then obviously things come along. You know, maybe we have children, maybe we, um, you know, m maybe, uh, something bad happens, I don't know, but what happens is most people, this is what most people, not. I'm not saying the people that are watching this video, I'm saying most people, what they do, they have all these aspirations and goals that they once had in life, and what they do is they start to drag them down to wherever they are right now. Now that was the reason for this video today, having seen a lot of people's, <laughs> I've seen a lot of people's situations, their financial positions, you know, um, I'm talking people in their uh, mid-20s uh, to mid-30s that are completely tapped out with personal debt. So completely tapped out with debt and I don't even know where it's come from. And this is quite the norm today. It's either credit cards, personal loans, cars, finance TVs, couches, holidays, whatever the case may be. What's happening in society is we, this is, it's rubbish. We're not teaching the right fundamentals in life. We're teaching people to go and repeat this stuff out of a book that isn't actually going to get them what they want. What we need to be doing is teaching people to think right. Because what happens, why do you think depression is so high? Why do you think anxiety is so high? Why do you think people, I know myself over the years, what's caused me to get into, into places of stress or um, you know, where I haven't felt 100% has been money worries. And this is where most people are at. Most people have major money worries. They, they, they're living from week to week, pay to pay, year to year, and they're not gaining any traction at all. Now, why do we keep doing this? Why do we keep teaching this crap? Why don't we teach people, first and foremost, to understand it's not in life how you make money. Yes, you want to make sure it's moral and ethical, but it's not how you make money. What the key is here is where is it that you're wanting to head? Where is it that you're wanting to go? Because if you don't understand what it is that you want out of your life, you just get into that phase, like I just previously talked about, where you settle for, your plateau. Your plateau in life, and you don't gain it, you, you just, you, you're going nowhere. You're treading water. Now, understand this, guys. We're never too old. And if you're older than me in this video, you're thinking, look at this young punk, what's he talking about? Understand this. I know what it's like to lie on a hospital bed and have, it, have my ability of not having my health and not being able to out there and do the things that I want to do. So understand life's short, so why are we, why are we doing all of this stuff that's just pulling us back? Now what I suggest, if you're a young, if you're a millennial, and you're coming out of university, I'd pay down, pay down debt. If you, right now if you've got a lot of personal debt like credit cards, um, you know, car loans, etc., you need to be putting in a, in a plan or consolidating all of that debt and reducing it as fast as possible because that's just going to constrain you from moving forward. You're never going to be up to go out there and buy a home or buy a house or get a mortgage if you've got all this bad debt over your head. And see, the thing is, most people are not taught this. Most people are not taught about interest rates. Most um, finance companies, etc., will have interest rates some ranging between 12 to 20 something percent in some cases. Now that's, that's, that's killing people. That's killing people's finances, and in turn, what's it doing? It's killing people because people are getting stressed out, they're not um, feeling fulfilled in their life, they're worried about money all the time, they don't know what their direction is, they've given up on their dreams and goals, and this is why I, I do these videos. Is not See, there'll be someone watches this video, hopefully it clicks with you. If it doesn't click with you, I, I don't really care, that's okay. I've, I'm a big enough, I've got big enough shoulders to take it. But 
the reason why I do these videos is to help people realize what, look, if someone like myself can have any, I'm not, I haven't arrived, but if someone like myself from little old Wallace Town in Invercargill can have any level of success in life, anyone can. It's just changing the way you think. See, what we're, what we, well, this is traditionally how we all make money, and, and some of you would have seen this before. We all, at, we, as an employee, this is called a cash flow quadrant, or a self employed person, or a B business owner, or an investor. This is done by Robert Kiyosaki. Now, that was done as a, it's called a cash flow quadrant, and you'll see over here, it, it's, there's E, S, B, and I. Now, over here, as an employee or a self employed person, that's what we call an active income. Over here on this side, the right side is a passive income. Now the reason why I'm showing you this is, this is why people are broke. This is why pro uh, people are broke, is because this is where most people are. Most people are here as an employee. Now let me, let me just explain this to you. As an employee you have absolutely no benefits. You are just getting told what to do every day, just like a slave. Now you can take that how you want it, but as far as I'm concerned, Concerned if you're getting someone to tell you what to do every day and you're under the confinements of, of their Of what they tell you to do. That's just like being a slave now I'm not saying I come from a working family now. This is not for the people that are content in their job This is for the people that are frustrated that want to do something different all I'm doing Why I do this is to help people realize that there's other ways there's other angles out there for you to move forward in life because if you stay over here in the E quadrant, or even in the self-employed, as an employee or self-employed, that's where around 95% of the world's population is. Now, both of those quadrants, you can make good money. Don't get me wrong. As an employee, you can make significant cash flow going up the scale in the corporate world. You can make good six-figure income. You can get into maybe, in some cases, and big-time CEOs might get up to the million-dollar mark. I don't know. But what happens is to those people is they sell their soul to their job. They sell their soul to their business. So what happens is that their whole life, all they're doing is going out just chasing a dollar bill. Their whole life, they're just going out doing this. Now, for me, I, I, I hated that. I hated that, especially when I had my accident in Australia and I had to go through all that rubbish with the, um, the company when I hurt my back and all that. You know, I look back at that now, that was the best thing that ever happened to me because it, caught, it took me out of this air quadrant thinking and it put me into the self-employed for, for a point of view, and then it's taking me over into the B and I quadrants. Now this right hand side is a passive or ongoing base. Now that's where you need to be, ladies and gentlemen, because you need to be over on that side, because that's how you become free. That's how you, yeah, that's how you create time flexibility. Now most people won't go on the side. The reason being is they're scared, they're worried to step, out, step over that line and actually do something different. First and foremost, because most people's self-worth is so low, they're worried about what other people think of them. That's why I started doing these videos. First and foremost was to grow myself. The more I grow myself, guess what happens? The more people come into my life, the more opportunity comes to me. The more I start focusing on where I'm going and stop worrying about the things of the past, the things that I can't control, that's because that's been and gone. See, this is what most people are doing, and some of you watching this video are doing this. You're focusing on the past, and you're not focusing on the future. Now, if you keep focusing on the past, what are you going to get? You're going to keep getting anxiety. You're going to keep getting down and out. You're going to be frustrated. You're not going to feel fulfilled. So what I recommend, guys, is you need to understand where are you making your money right now? What is it that you're doing right now? Are you fulfilled? Are you actually pursuing your purpose in life? Or are you just going through the motions? Going through the motions, oh, work to home, work to home, get home, watch TV, work to home, work to home. See, this is what most people do, and I'm not saying that's a bad thing. If, the, if you're completely and utterly happy in that position, keep doing it. But I know, because I talk to a lot of people, I, I, I sit in, in front of at least, at a minimum, 50 people a month, face to face, plus speak in front of groups of people. So I know that people are discontent. But the problem is with most people, they're too scared because over here, see over here is where the employees are, that's where 95% of the world's population is. So that's where the masses are. The masses are over where the employees and the self-employed people are. See, as a, I have a self-employed business, okay? And the good thing about, 
listen, there's good things and bad things. Self-employed business, you can make a lot of money. You can make good money, but also it's a tie because you have clients. You've got to be out serving clients. You've got to be dealing with contractors. In my particular business, that's what we've got to do. So I've got to trade a lot of time to get that money. Yes, I'm prepared to do that for a period of time, but in that, in that process of creating that cash flow in that business, I'm going over here into this investment stage. So I'm investing my money for long-term freedom, for long-term wealth, so that I can have a life of abundance. So I don't have to be worrying about going to the supermarket, looking at my phone and worrying about how I'm going to pay for the groceries. Because that's how most people are living today. Most people, I see it all the time. I go to the supermarket, people are standing in there in line, they're checking their phone before they go up to, to the counter. Now, let me ask you this. Do you want to keep living like that for the rest of your life? Enough's enough. See, what I find extremely frustrating is we have people in the education system, teachers, whatever the case may be, teaching kids or teaching people to go out there and work this process that doesn't work. Now, this is going to rub some people up the wrong way. I completely understand and I apologise if it has done that to you. But the reality is, if your financial position has not changed in the last five to ten years, you're doing something wrong. Okay? That is the reality of it. You can either take this on board or not. If you keep going on that same treadmill, what's going to happen? You're going to end up nowhere. You're just going to be treading water, treading water, treading water, and you're not going to get what you want out of life. So I'm very passionate about this because I know, you know, how much my life has changed. I can't explain it. But the only way you're going to be able to change your life is if you change the way you think. And if you don't change the way you think, you need to get around people that can help you grow or start reading books. You know, books like The Magic of Thinking Big, The Law of Success, The Slight Edge, you know, Personality Plus. Start to understand your personality. Start to understand who you are as a person. Start to actually love who you look at when you, when you look in the mirror. See, most people hate themselves. Not all the time, but we're trying, most people don't love themselves. Now that sounds weird, but you have to love yourself first before you can go out there and love someone else. Why do you think most uh, marriages fall apart? Why do you think most friendships fall apart? Because the world's full of ego, it's full of a load of crap. It's full, look, we all want to live a life of abundance, but I'm telling you guys, if you keep on this path and you don't do anything for your future, you'll just be another statistic, and you don't want to be one of them. You want to be live a life of impact, you want to live a life of purpose, you want to live a life of abundance, and you want to be happy, and that's all I do these videos for, is to help some people out there realise that they can be bigger than what they are. I want you all to have an awesome day. I'm Cameron Stewart. Thanks for listening in. Have a fantastic day. See you next time.